In this video, I'm going to look at sketching polar curves. Some curves are very easy to sketch. Some you can use the comparison between modulus and argument with complex numbers to help you sketch them. For other curves, the only real answer is to make a table of values and plot them. Let's first look at the curve r equals 3. Well, if we've always got to be 3 away from the pole, r always has to be 3. We can see that we must have a circle radius 3. And there we are, a circle, centre the origin, radius 3. If we think of complex numbers, that's just the circle mod z equals 3. Okay, let's move on. What happens if I think of the equation theta equals pi by 6? This means that wherever r is, the angle has to be pi by 6. Well, that tells us that we must be on that line, where the angle made with the x-axis is pi by 6. It's only a half line. It's just the same as arg z equals pi by 6. We can't come down here. Down here, the angle for polar coordinates would be 7 pi by 6. So it's only the half line. And there we are. Half line making an angle of pi by 6 with the initial line or with the x-axis, whichever way you think of it. What about r equals 2 theta? What's happening here? Well, when theta is naught, r is naught. And as theta gets bigger, r gets bigger. As theta gets bigger, r gets bigger. As theta gets bigger, r gets bigger. So r is consistently expanding. And we're going to build up a spiral. And here we are. Notice the scale on the x-axis going up to 40 allows me to have several parts of the spiral. The first one would be at 2 pi, 2 times 2 pi is 4 pi, that's about 12. And every time you go out a further 2 pi. Now we look at something a little bit more difficult. Curves with equations like p plus q cos theta. The first one is when they're equal. When p equals q, in this case I've taken 3 plus 3 cos theta, and this gives us a cardioid. When theta is naught, I get r is 6. As theta goes from naught to pi by 2, cos theta decreases to 0. So r is 3, and then coming down here, cos theta becomes minus 1 when theta is pi. So this one is called the cardioid. These two blue circles illustrate a property of the cardioid. If I take this second, the right-hand blue circle, and take the point P on the outside of it, as I roll this circle round the left-hand one, so the point P traces out the path of the cardioid. So there's the cardioid. If we now look at p larger than 2q. We get a shape which we call a limousin. The dimple will become apparent in a moment. Limousin without a dimple. In other words, when you go round, you don't have a circle. There's a very flattened, it doesn't ever go vertical completely for any distance, but there's a very flattened shape there. And that was 3 plus 1.4 cos theta. P 3 is bigger than 2q, which is 2.8. That was a limousin without a dimple. 
Let's move on and look at two more. In this case, if P lies between Q and 2Q, so P is between, that's 3 is between 2 and 2 times 2, now we get a Limerson with a dimple. This one you won't find in example in your book. Um, P less than Q. In other words, 2 plus 3 cos theta. When theta is pi, cos pi is minus 1, R is minus 1. So there will be some values where R is negative. As we go round, we'll get to a point here where cos theta is minus two-thirds, then r becomes negative, dotted blue, then r becomes positive again, and out you go. Now your course, the Pearson IAL course, does not allow r to be negative. So in the A-level course that you are studying, this is a Limerson which doesn't have a loop. The loop doesn't exist. I think that's a pity. I think the whole curve should be the Limerson with a loop. Now let's look at some straight lines. Initially, we will just look at lines which are either vertical or horizontal. Taking the vertical one first, that we would normally think of as the line x equals 3. In Cartesian coordinates. Let's see what happens if we start looking at r and theta. Well from the diagram you can see that r cos theta is equal to O n but O n is 3 and that tells us that the equation of the line is r equals 3 divided by cos theta 1 over cos theta is sec theta. Not difficult. What happens if we look at the horizontal line? On the picture here, we've got the line y equals 2. Here's the point r theta, distance r, angle theta. Well, parallel lines will tell me that the angle made with the line y equals 2 is also theta. And now, we only have to look at that. We have that r sine theta is equal to om, and om is, of course, 2. And that gives me that the polar equation of that line is r equals 2 divided by sine theta. 1 over sine theta is cosec theta. And in general, x equals a, in Cartesian form, is the line r equals a sec theta in polar form, and y equals a is r equals a cosec theta. This also works, is true for positive and negative values of a. Let's now see what happens if we look at lines which are not horizontal or vertical. Oblique lines. So here I have an oblique line and I've given the equation and we'll talk about that. If we look at the line x equals 3, the line I've drawn actually has a perpendicular distance from the origin to the line of 3. It is the line x equals 3 rotated about the origin through pi by 6. So the way that I like to remember these is to think of the line x equals 3 is r equals 3 sec theta, which we've just met. If we rotate it through pi by 6 about the origin, 
we get r equals 3 sec theta minus pi by 6. This is just like your original ideas with translations. That if you have y equals f of x and you translate it through a0, that goes to y equals f of x minus a. So when you're dealing with Cartesian coordinates, you're familiar with a translation. When you're dealing with polar coordinates, the equivalent to a translation is a rotation, and it behaves in the same way. R equals F theta is mapped onto R equals F theta minus pi by 6. Nice little idea, and it does help you remember the equation and what it means. In the same way, we can think of the equation r equals 3 cosec theta minus pi by 6 as starting with the line y equals 3. y equals 3 is the line y equals 3 cosec theta, which we did just now. If we rotate that through pi by 6, it becomes r equals 3 cosec theta minus pi by 6 green line rotated about the origin through pi by 6.